right? Have you guys seen? So, you know, we were we were discussing this yesterday, uh, the three of us. Um, you know, Disney Dreamlight Valley, right? So obviously, everyone knows Disney Dreamlight Valley. How crazy is this? When they released the game in early access, um, they released it for twenty five pound on the promise that when they would release it uh, fully, when it would come out of early access, it would be a free-to-play game, right? Free-to-play game. And then it was released. I know, right, but It's crazy. It was released, like, a few days ago, I think. And it's 30... £33, I think it is. And they also said that they wouldn't ever gate any content behind um, a... Um, a price wall thingy. Um, and now they've made an expansion that is £25 um, for like more content, more story, blah, blah, blah. Even though they literally said it was going to be a free-to-play game and they would never lock anything behind a paywall. And they've done exactly that. Like, absolutely. But you know what the weirdest thing is? No one's complaining about it. We Googled it last night. When I say we, I mean Boyd and me and James sat behind just watching him do it. But like... We Googled it last night. No one is complaining about it. Other than if you go to the Steam reviews on the expansion, you can find a couple. Otherwise, it's nowhere. Like, you can't find, like, articles about it. It's not on Reddit. Like, it's or if it is, it's hard to bloody find. Like, no one seems to care. <laughs> like, I'm, like, furious about it. Like, basically, that the re their reasoning... Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just modded, uh, modded heavily. Yeah, but why, why is it not, like, all over the internet? Why is everyone not in an uproar about it? It took ages for us to find articles. We found one in the Sun newspaper, which is an English newspaper. But that was about it. We literally just couldn't find it. But it's like, their, their logic was, when they made that promise, basically, they didn't expect to be as big as it was, as big as it became, and now they can't maintain the level of quality and output... Um, that they want it, so now they have to charge for it to keep that quality going, basically. Um, so if you bought it, you're fine. Yeah, so if you bought it on an early access, you still have it, but you don't have the expansion, which is another £25. So I have the base game, not the expansion. So I'm fine for that, and I just pay £25 for the expansion. But not only did they say £25 and then it's free, they're charging more than they charged back when they said this is the only charge. So anyone who was waiting because they couldn't afford the £25 now has to pay more for it. It's more expensive than it was then. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. I don't think a single person I know that plays it, um, plays it didn't complain. I did about articles, but word of mouth, everyone was pissed. Yeah, but, like, it's like a secret. It's like everyone's whispering it to each other. Like... You know, you know when something happens, let's face it, when Blizzard does something wrong, it's all over the internet. Oh, my God. It is on every Reddit article, every everything. Like, it's everywhere. Like, but nobody seems, like, I, we couldn't find. Nobody seems to be complaining about it other than, yeah, like, talking to their friends about it. Um, as we look ahead of the official launch, the, with the learnings we've gained from early acts, we made a decision to remain a paid game for the foreseeable future. This means we will not make the transition to free-to-play game when we leave early access on the 5th of December. Yeah, see? See? I mean, say something's going to be free that isn't, isn't a crime. Uh, you can either get it or you don't. Yeah, no, I know, but it's just kind of like... It's just kind of gross. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's fine that they want to charge for it, but the fact that they announce it like a month or so before it was actually released, means that they, they they would have known that it wasn't going to be feasible for ages. They would have known. But it's kind of like the fact that they kept their little story going for, right up until it's like near the release of it. Like, And again, I think the game's a good game. So I actually was a bit like, whoa, when they said it was going to be free to play because it's like, it's a good game. And I do believe in charging for... Um, expansions and DLCs and stuff like that. Like I do. Like we pay for the expansion on World of Warcraft. I pay a subscription on WoW. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm all for spending money. But imagine if WoW were like, we're going to go subscription free. And then a month before, everyone's getting really excited. They're like, oh, actually, no, we changed your mind. And we're going to charge you more. 
Not only are we going to keep the subscription that we said we're going to get rid of, we're going to put a five pound on top of it. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just kind of like gross conduct rather than being like, it's not like illegal. It's just kind of like, it's just a bit, sh yeah, just a bit shitty. Like, like I say, if you don't want to be free to play, not a problem. Like, everyone's in a business to make money. Like, that's the, that's the nature of the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, everybody needs to make money. But it's like, when you start noticing that you're going to need money from it, start telling people. Like, it's just, ugh. Like, I kind of hope that it flops a bit. Um, they just, uh, I want to see how they can money grab, uh, how much the kids even more. I know, like, I think if they wanted to make it so they still charge for it, they should have at least made it cheaper than the £25 they charged during early access. Because obviously when you pay for early access, normally it's cheaper than the release of the game. But which, so what they're doing actually falls in line with normal game behavior but if you're going to promise for a year and a half that it's going to be free to play then then i think that's like the gross part and they should have charged less if they still need to fund it do you know what i mean i'm just and like i said i was just so confused i wasn't i couldn't find any like uproar about it anywhere and no one was shouting about it I can't afford the DLCs to fudge me. Yeah, like, the DLC is pretty expensive for, like, a sh apparently it's, like, not that long. From what we looked at the reviews, it's not that big. Like, so to charge the, no, sorry, £25 for this DLC, I'm like, fudge me. That's, like, over half the price of a one Warcraft expansion for the last two years. Do you know what I mean? Like, it makes WoW look like it's worth, it, it costs pennies compared to it. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. It should have been announced, though, that it won't be free to play. Not guarantee it should be. Yes, exactly. Just have, like, an open beta during early access for test stuff. Never tell anyone it should be free to play. Yeah, like, I wouldn't even care. I Like I said, I'm all for companies wanting to make money, take money. It's why you'll hardly ever hear me complain about anything that Blizzard does. Because I believe the companies could do whatever the hell they want to make money. But if Blizzard lied to me and said that they were going to take the subscription away... And then I got really excited that I was going to be able to play and afford it. And then they brought it back in with like a month's notice. That I'd be really pissed about. And especially given the market that they're marketing towards. Like, it's like mums and kids. Like, and now the kids are... How many mums do you think promise their kids, don't worry, when it comes out in December, we're going to be able to afford it. It's free to play. You'll be able to play it then. No, I, I know your friend's got it, but we're going to wait till that because we can't afford it. And then it comes out in December and it's 35 flipping quid. And now the mums have to disappoint their kids by saying, sorry, we can't afford that because that's an expensive game to buy a kid. I wouldn't buy my kid a 35 pound game. How about now? Go play Roblox for free. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, it's like a really crappy, shameful kind of business move to make. I'm just going to scroll up because obviously I've ranted for a bit. Um, the fact that people waited for it to be zero, for it to be more expensive now. Exactly, James. Uh, that's why I went to uh, DBD. I've loved WoW for 17 years, but after spending nearly $20,000 in 17 years, I'm overpaying for a sub when so many games have... Um, great games have no sub. Also, good morning to you. Good morning, my lovely. Yeah, and then imagine if you went to DBD, and then they're like, yeah, it's, it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to cost all this money, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, actually, no, fuck it. We're going to make it a sub. Like, even though they promised it'd never be sub. It, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just gross. Just really tacky. Kind of dumb for them from a business perspective. They stuck to a slightly lower price. Exactly. And don't make stupid promises. More people would have bought it rather than wait it out uh, and see they like. Exactly. Like I said, I'm all for them making money. In fact, I'm very pro businesses making money. But like, because obviously, how can they function if they don't make money? Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, we can't sit here with our luxuries if they're not going to charge for it because we ain't making it. So I'm all for that. Just don't be tacky and lie and ugh. Like, do you know what I mean? Or at least make it discounted. That would work. And then you could put it on a price later on. Like, maybe do a, like a thing where they say, we know we said it was going to be free to play. However, the game model doesn't allow for such things anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Have it for a tenner. 
for a month and then after that we're gonna put the price to this and then those who can't afford it go and buy it for a tenner and then they bump the price up to their 35 pound that they want and then if they want the game um like afterwards that's therefore for kind of missing it do you know what i mean like they should have done something like that it's just like like I mean, it doesn't bother me because i bought it when it was on um early access so i paid 25 quid for it so i don't have to pay for it obviously I, I don't play it so i don't need to worry about the um dlc alana has the attention span of a gnat so she's done nothing but like running around the basic house so far and hit a few thorns so I don't need to worry about it. I'm just like outraged. You know what I mean? Like, just like, like I said, they could have literally done that bit by bit. Like, oh, whoopsie, we made a boo boo, so we're only gonna charge this much to kind of compensate. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just they just should have done that more strategically. Basically, it costs sixty pounds to get all the content at the moment. How crazy is that? Sixty quid. <laughs> 